Ross, so, you know, it was um, a, a bit of a disappointing day on Saturday, obviously, for everyone. Um, but how's, how's the mood been in training this week? Is, is everyone raring to go again? Yeah, of course, Clay. I, um, I, I myself was really disappointed. Uh, I, can, I can assure you the players were. and um, We've seen it as a, as a real opportunity for, for us as a team and as a club to, to get maybe one step closer and that's something we've drive we've driven we've driven driven home with the players and, and sort of I've talked a lot about so I, I can I can only tell you how disappointed and how much we we feel we let everyone down and um I I personally always 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 feel responsible for it. So it was a real real sort of sickener for me and I was yeah, I was massively disappointed by it, and I, um, I did massively feel I let the club down, and, and we, we obviously have to go again. And, and, and if you're going to try and put a positive spin on it, it gives us an opportunity now to just focus on the league. But it's certainly not, not really. When I say it, I don't really mean it. I would much rather have both sort of, both on the table. And, and uh, there's always that we, we, we didn't that people can say we bottled it or. Or what not? I thought, thought second half we'd give it a really good go, but but we didn't start well enough, and we started slowly, and we got punished again and again for our slow start, and then we're sort of chasing the game, and but like you can look for excuses. We've had chances to get back in it, and and we didn't quite do that, and we missed maybe two or three really big chances. Certainly when we got when we had the opportunities at one 0 so I guess you live and you learn, but but I'd rather not live and learn. I'd rather be still in it. With these two games, we've got two away games. Does that give a bit of an opportunity to, you know, people people say, don't they, away from home is always less pressure. You can go out there and just go for it. Is that something that's crossed your mind? Is that is that an opportunity? Uh, well, looking at it as an opportunity is obviously important. We want to look at things as opportunities to get points, and they're all opportunities to get points. And, and we've been very clear about getting to 50 points, and that's our target. So we're 11 points away from that, and, and we need to start getting points on the board now. Um, is it is it is there less pressure? In away games, um, I don't know really. I think I think I put pressure on on myself to to get points on the board in all games. So for me, it's just another game where we where, where I want to win and, and and I want a good performance. And and the, there's elements of of the last few games where we've not been great. There's elements of the last few games where we've been all right. And we need to make sure that we're performing well. And then it eventually will turn. And 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 those chances that we miss might go in. And, those those silly goals that we we sort of concede will will, will sort of go away. So, like you said, it, it, is there is there no pressure? Uh, we want to win, so of course there's pressure. We'll obviously have Jake, Henry, and Ollie back in the squad, so that'll be a bit big help, won't it? Yeah, and it's fresh legs, and and you do the Saturday, Tuesday, and then obviously me and Ed are are in a bit of a sort of um, of just doing a little bit of a purple patch where they've won three sort of games in a row. And, um, the the last three games, they've, I think they've got one point. In the last three games, so they they rotated players a little bit on Saturday, and, and might be a little bit might might be looking to have some fresh legs on Tuesday. So we we can't look at that as a, a negative that we played Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. That's God, that's this league, and we need to be fresh and, and having Ollie and Jake and Henry to be able to freshen that up is obviously a really really good thing, and it gets us gets us close to what what maybe potentially or near to what our sort of best eleven is, and. It's like like all games, we need to be switched on tomorrow, and we need to be looking at winning tomorrow, and we need to be looking at performing well tomorrow. And it's a really really tough place to go, but I'm I stand here and say that every time we go away, and um, they're they're well organised and they've got some really really good players, and, and and obviously Devs has got them, got them got 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 those three wins in sort of the last six games, which has seen them obviously go past us as well. So we're chasing them, and and we want to we want to go and get a really positive result and a real positive performance. Obviously, James took press duties over the weekend. So, last since we've last spoke, we've added Miles Kenlock to the squad. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, obviously, I've not obviously not spoke about that. Obviously, um, uh, J- J- with James doing it the last game, and um, uh, Miles um, was has obviously got some championship experience. Um, Ollie is Ollie is not out for the season. Ollie will be back in Arm Holborn. Um, let me get my games right. We're home for Wheelstone, um, which isn't too far away, really. So, so that's the sort of target for him and um, Miles was brought in to sort of get us up to that period but then then looking at it from a positive 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 thing Miles could be a left centre back and Miles could be a left back which might might allow Ollie to get a bit higher up the pitch and, and maybe play more as a wing back as well and um, where we can really sort of see the benefits of, of, of his delivery and, and obviously Tav and whatnot might see the benefits of that as well but Miles obviously has championship experience league one experience and um, uh, obviously played for Barrow this season as well, so he hasn't 
massively played for a while on Saturday, but I thought he was really, I thought he was really good Saturday. And um, he's got to fit into that back four quickly, and, and and we've got to start keeping clean sheets and being being a lot lot harder to beat. And, and Miles is going to come in and, and going to going to really really help us with that. Cheers, Russ. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.